Now we're going to restore the blog that we just backed up with FlipMe. We're going to go to the new domain name and we're going to go to the cPanel. We're going to navigate down here to File Manager. Click on Go. If you don't like the cPanel File Manager, of course you can use FileZilla or CyberDuck if you're on a Mac or whatever FTP program that you like. We're going to browse to the folder that contains our files. These three right here you will have received. I've put the blog back up in here for convenience, so we'll start with that one. And then I'll just simply add the other three. And just wait a moment for the files to complete their upload. Now that we've uploaded all the files, we're going to come back here to our domain and you'll see the files that we've uploaded. And you're going to click on flipmeclone.php. You'll see FlipDiva and come down here and select the second option so that FlipMe can create the database automatically for you. Now here's how we fill out this screen. In the domain name, you put your actual domain name. Don't put a www in front of it. The only thing that you would want to put in front of it is if you were creating a subdomain. And it would be subdomain.flipme.in. In this case, we're not creating a subdomain. We're installing it in root. And so we just type in flipme. And if we were putting this into a folder, for example, if you had your domain name slash blog, you would type that in here, like that with the trailing slash, but we're not doing that. You would have to create your subdomain or your folder first before you started this procedure. And here's where you type in your username and your cPanel password. And 99% of the time you're going to type in the actual word localhost because that is the host name. If you have created something different perhaps, if you have a dedicated server, you would know what to put in there, but 99% of the time it's going to be the word localhost. Here's where you're going to put in your database name. This is going to be a guitar site, so I'm going to call it guitar. You never want to go over seven characters and you never want to duplicate your database username to your database name. Again, the database username can't be over seven characters either. So we'll call this play and we'll put in a password and we're going to click install backup. And then here there's no errors. So we're going to click Install Backup. And this is all done in real time. I haven't edited this. It's just that fast. You click View Blog. And there's your cloned blog. And that's all there is to it. If you have any further questions, please contact me at support at flipmeclone.com.